Hi guys, welcome back. Today we will be discussing about setup of zero downtime migration using Oracle Golden Gate. There are different methods of um, zero downtime migration. One is by using the um, database utilities like um, uh, uh, Rman or by using the data pump. Basically, um, zero downtime migration is the co the concept of the zero downtime migration is then we will be using a utility maybe uh, uh, maybe an oracle provided utility or a golden gate provided utility we will do an initial data load from the source to target while doing the initial data load some application must will be updating to the source table so what are the changes that is happened during the initial data load that changes will also get migrated to the target that's a concept is known as so uh, what happens then when you are having uh, the initial data load is taking place meanwhile say initial uh, say assume that initial data load we started at 10 o'clock and it's got completed at 11 o'clock so between 10 to 11 there may be some changes happen to the source database that changes also will get applied to the target database so at any point of time when you want to switch your application from the source to target there is no need for you for the database downtime only maybe an application downtime will be there that may be minimal but from the uh, database perspective the migration is say zero downtime migration so the the point here is that um, while uh, or the or the drawback of or, or the difficulties what we may face is that how to transfer the data or how to replicate the data while the initial data load is taking place so from where the extract will be starting that uh, change because if you are um, allowing the continuous change uh, extract and replicate and the initial load to be taken place at the same time there is a high possibility that uh, the data whatever copied by the um, initial data load is already replicated by the by the change uh, ongoing uh, extract and replicate to avoid that what we will be doing is an we will be finding out the time or the uh, time at which we are starting the initial load we'll find out the, the system change number of that time and then we'll ask the replicate then we'll do the initial data load once initial data load is completed we'll ask the replicate to start the rep replication only from that particular change point you got me say for example while we start the initial data load the SCN was 100 and while we complete the initial data load the SCN becomes 200 so on the replicate what will do that the ongoing replicate will tell to start the replication from SEN 100 only so that's what we are going to do today there are different methods of doing the initial data load one is at uh, data pump other one is at by using the uh, RMAN or by Oracle Golden Gate utilities which we covered in the previous sessions so in today's session we will be uh, using the data pump to do the initial data load okay so uh, let's have a look at our source um, uh, database and the target database so let's connect to the database so here is I'm, I'm on my source okay so before starting let's see our source table and corresponding the, the status of our, of our source table and the status of our target table so, so we are we are concentrating on the replication of a um, table called suppliers for the uh, SRC schema so select star from SRC dot suppliers supplier so there are three records are there now let's see the what is the status on the target there are zero records are there so what we are going to do sir we are going to start up our export uh, method and then before that we are going to find out the uh, SCN of the database and then we will be um, making sure that our replicate is starting from that particular point of time so what we are going to do first step is then we will make sure that our um, uh, the uh, golden gate process are running so let's go let's start up our um, let's go 
to our uh, Golden Gate Home, GGSCI, Info All. So our extract and replicate is running. We are not touching the extract and replicate now, but on the target, we will be stopping the extract because we want to start the extract only from the point of um, say from the point where we uh, started our initial data load, not 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 after that or not before that. GGSCI. Sorry, I'm I'm on the other end. Info all. Okay, so the replicate is running. We'll stop the replicate now, and we have uh, verified there is no um, uh, any gap now. So we'll stop replicate. Rep zero one. Okay, replicate is stop. Now we'll on the source. We'll find out the current SCN. Select current underscore SCN from V dollar database. Okay, six one nine double five seven zero. So we will use this SCN to start the uh, to start the export. We'll use the flashback underscore SCN option, and we'll specify that the export has to be taken based on this particular SCN. And then we will once the um, export is completed once the import is completed then we will be specifying the import uh, or sorry the replicate to start from this particular SEN hope that is clear we'll use the following command to um, take an export based on an SEN that is expdp schema equal to uh, schemas we have to take the backup of uh, the uh, schema src and dump file is equal to src.dmb and uh, flashback is in is equal to six nine six one nine double five seven zero. This is the value which we got from the current SCN. So we'll take the export of the SRC schema based on this SCN, and on the target we'll use this particular SCN um, to start the replicate. So now as of now we have stopped the replicate. So let's take the export. Let's execute this command. We'll go to the target. And then issue the command. Okay, slash sys dba. The export is um, completed. It has created a uh, src dot dump file. We'll copy this file to the target. Copying to gg underscore home directory. Okay, so this is spelling mistake. Okay, the copy is completed. Now, before we do the import, what we'll do then? We'll insert some records to our source table. When there are there are several uh, different tables are there, but we are concentrating on uh, SRC dot supply table only. So let's uh, connect to the database. Select star from SRC dot supply. Okay. Now insert into SRC dot supply. Values forty test or uh, uh, after later. I have inserted one record. Insert into. Okay, 
I have inserted two uh, records, commit and okay. I'll just verify whether these records are there on the target. These records will not get replicated to the target because we have stopped the replicate. We'll just verify the replicate status once again. Info all. Okay, the replicate is strong. Now the next step is that we will be using the IMB DP and import this data to the uh, target. We'll uh, do the import by using a, a simple command Im imbdp schema is equal to src dump file equal to src dot dump which we copied from the target. Let's copy. Let's execute it. Before uh, starting the uh, import, I need to find out what is the user dump destination of this target database and then I have to copy the dump files to that location or otherwise I have to create a directory. I think, um, hope you are aware about that uh, concept. Show parameter user dump dust. Okay, so I need to copy this one to uh, this location. Once a file is copied, Let's try to uh, restart the import. Yeah, we have to um, since the uh, there is uh, like uh, we have to add the uh, table exist um, cl a clause has to be added because the table is already there. So we will be adding one more clause that is table exist action equal to truncate to our import uh, imbdp command and uh, re-execute that um, command. So, slash sys dba. Okay, now you can see that um, on this table, the supply table, three records are imported. Okay, we'll verify um, from the SQL plus. Select star from src dot supply. Okay. Now we have the original three dates datas are there. Now what we'll do that we wanted to replicate the changes which was happened on the source while we are uh, performing the initial data load. For that we have found out uh, what is the uh, SCN uh, when we started the initial load. So we'll start the or we'll ask the replicate to start from that SCN. Okay. So we'll connect it to GGSCI info all. Okay. Okay, so we'll use the command start replicate rep zero one that is our replicate name after CSN. That is the after the change number six one nine double five seven zero because this is a SCN uh, was there on the source database when we started the initial data load or the export command. So let's execute this. Info on the replication is running. Okay, now we will um, go to the target database and see whether the data is get replicated. So I have issued the command select star from, uh, I'm on the target. I have issued the command select star from src.supplier. Now you can see that the uh, two records which we added while uh, the while we are done the import and copying the files to the target. So. Uh, w uh, while the initial data load is taking place, what was the f uh, records added? We can see that that records are added. So now let me summarize on this. 
the uh, the key points here is an on the um, source uh, we have the ongoing replicate the continuous change rep extract should be running while we start the initial data load we have to find out the cn at which the initial data load is uh, taken place because uh, before starting the export we have found out the current cn from the source database and while we are uh, starting the ex uh, the data pump we have used the keyword flashback underscore scn so when you use the flashback underscore scn the export will be or the export data pump will uh, take the export with the consistent to this particular scn so no other changes after this scn will be the part of the uh, data pump export and then what we did is that we stopped uh, b before starting up the uh, initial data load we stopped the replicate on the target that's to make sure that we will be starting the replicate only once the initial data load is completed so the first step was the to find out the database uh, scn second start the uh, stop the replicate on the target third start the export using that F scn and then copy the data pumps to the target while we copy the uh, data pump files to the target we loaded some data to the um, source the ongoing extract will be capturing that uh, data uh, that changes and then on the target we imported the data by using table exist equal to exist action equal to truncate making sure that the table table will get truncated uh, while the import is taking place or else if you wanted to uh, do the other options based on your situations you can do it and uh, um, but for the initial data loads truncate is a most suitable option and then we started the replicate that is start replicate rep01 after csn and the scn which we captured before the um, before the startup of the initial load in the source so what are the changes that's happened during the uh, initial load or before we start up the um, uh, replicate all the changes was moved by uh, the extract and now it got applied by the uh, replicate replicate will apply the changes after this particular scn hope this session is clear so we learned today we learned about uh, how to do the in, um, uh, zero downtime migration using the um, oracle golden gate here there is no downtime on the database side but if the application um, move for for the relocation of the application there can be an application um, downtime that's but that is a purely an application side activity hope this topic is clear for you guys i'll be uh, keep on adding more and more um, uh, videos to my youtube channel so keep um, watching it please subscribe to my channel to get um, notified about the new videos which i am adding please uh, feel free to send me suggestions on my email address posted on my website um good luck happy learning thank you